years, John Moyle was a great success, with around 50 stations worked in five hours, running around 500 milliwatts. This time, I'm dropping the power even more. I'm still using the FT817, down to its lowest power setting of 500 milliwatts, but this time, I've got an attenuator in line. This is the Midnight Science Attenuator that I reviewed on a recent YouTube video. It goes down in 3 dB steps, down to around 30 dB attenuation. This time though, I've only got it set to about 9 dB attenuation, which, with 500 milliwatts feeding it, is around 62 milliwatts output power. The stations who hear me this time are truly the best in the contest. The key to success is to tune the band and call a lot of stations. Some people give up too easily. If you call a lot of stations, even if only a small proportion come back, that's still some contacts in the log. Remember, it's a numbers game. To make one contact, you probably need to make 10 or 20 or even more calls with milliwatt power. Another important thing is your signal must be in the clear. That's why conditions that might be the best for DX, like 20 metres, aren't necessarily helpful if you're running milliwatts and you're after VK contacts. A band like 20 metres is open for DX in the late afternoon, but with low power, that's probably not a good time to be calling other VKs. Instead, you may be better off to be calling earlier when the band is open within VK and not overseas, when you're more likely to be in the clear and have a better chance of being heard. Plus, there's less competition. And with milliwatts, you cannot afford competition because you'll always come off second best. So you've got to make sure you're transmitting at a time when you're likely to be in the clear. The same goes for 40 metres. Early in the morning, there's competition from Europe, but later on in the day, those signals drop down and you've got better chance of making contacts within VK. With good results yesterday with 62 milliwatts, today I thought I'd try pedestrian mobile. My ERP is probably fairly similar. 5 watts into an antenna that would be much less than 10% efficient. Like yesterday, I plan to be using mainly 40 and 20 metres. Uh, VK3, Yankee Echo Mobile. VK4, XQA Portable. Uh, number 59428 for VK3, Yankee Echo, Echo. Your number is 6264. In the first 40 minutes, only three contacts were made. Part of that can be attributable to the low effective radiated power. But that's not the full story. It is very difficult to be tuning a radio and walking at the same time. Even harder if you have to hold the antenna and later on write down the contacts you've made. 
not to mention holding a camera. Ideally, pedestrian mobile is best done in a contest situation when you've got another operator to help with the logging and other functions. But there's promise ahead with the pier visible. This will at least give me salt water underneath and may result in better signals and lower noise. Negative, negative, just a one metre magnetic loop, a one metre magnetic loop and five watts, over. Uh, well, well done on the five watts, it's a, it's a very good signal and very audible. So, what's the verdict? Yesterday, in four hours, around 20 contacts. Today, in around three hours, 18 contacts. So, not a lot to choose between 62 milliwatts from a fixed location and five watts with a magnetic loop, which probably gives a similar ERP. There was, however, a big difference, as you'd expect, between 40 and 20 metres. A one metre diameter loop like this can actually be reasonably efficient on 20 metres. On 40 metres, though, it's a little bit small. The optimum size is probably about double this size. I also found pedestrian mobile was a bit of a pain if you're in a contest, especially having to write everything down. As for distances, most contacts got under a thousand kilometres. Yesterday the further station worked was VK4 on 20 metres. Several VK4s were worked. Today was a bit better. VK4s on 20 metres, but also one VK6. That's a distance of around two and a half thousand kilometres. Being over the pier really helped. As to the proportion of stations who could hear me with the loop, on 20 metres, as you'd expect, the proportion was much higher. Maybe a third, maybe even a half of stations who I could hear strongly could hear me. On 40 metres, the proportion was much less. No more than a fifth, and possibly only a tenth. Then of course there's the problem that any search mounts operator will have when operating in a contest. There are stations that you may be able to work that you hear calling other stations, but if they're not calling CQ themselves, then you may miss out working them. 